Hello students, welcome to class. How have you been? I hope you are taking good care of yourself in the house. Today we are doing a very simple topic. We are doing subtraction. Uh, I believe that subtraction is very simple for all of us. But there is one key thing that we have to learn when we are dealing about subtraction. That is how to find the difference. Okay? So whenever you see any statement that is asking you to find the difference between any two numbers or two amount of figures it means that you are dealing with subtraction so so don't forget that subtraction and difference means the same which means you are finding how much more that you need for the smaller amount to be equal to that of the larger amount so let's see the meaning of difference when we are dealing with subtraction it means that how many more is needed to make the smaller amount the same as the larger amount so assuming when you have a bigger amount of let's say 10 and then you have a smaller amount of 4 between 10 and 4 what is the difference it means that you need to subtract your 4 from your 10 and the answer that you get becomes your the difference is that all right okay so let's see two examples that we have on our board here we have a group of circles here so on the top we have four circles and then at the bottom we have six circles so if we are asked to find the difference between the top group of circles and that of the bottom group of circles it means that we need to subtract the four from the six so if you look at this drawing when you group four here there is a space of two here so which means the one which is having six circles is having extra two but this one is having four which means it's not having extra two here that means when you subtract four from six you're going to have an answer of two so this two here becomes the difference of six and four okay so six and four you have a difference of two that means when you subtract four from six you have an answer of two so we put our two here nicely the same way if we are looking at our second example how many faces do we have here on the top we have four faces and then at the bottom we have seven faces so we are finding what the difference anytime you hear about the word difference it means we are dealing with subtraction so we find the difference between the four faces and that of the seven faces if you check our diagram or our picture here you could see when you match four faces together there is an extra three here so the extra three here is what the top one is not having that means that the top one which is a smaller number needs three more to be equal to the larger number as the meaning says that it is how much more needed to make the smaller amount the same as the larger amount so the four here needs extra three to be equal to the larger amount of seven so four minus seven will give us three okay so i believe this is very simple for us however you don't have to forget the word that difference means subtraction that is the key point of this lesson that whenever you see difference you are dealing with subtraction very good we will do our first activity so that we can still get other examples and exercise on subtraction and finding the difference anytime so you find your exercise at page 31 
of the skills builder book section of your textbook i want you to complete the exercise at that page and then you send through the group for me to check for you and then we can move to our second video thank you for joining me on this session i'll see you uh, on the second video goodbye students welcome to our second video our topic today is subtraction but we are looking at the very key word which is find the difference so difference is the same as doing subtraction we looked at the meaning of the difference that is when how many more is needed to a smaller number to be the same as a bigger number so which means that whenever you're doing a difference you have a smaller number and you have a larger or a big number so you look at how much more that you need for the smaller number to be as the same as that of the large or the larger number okay so don't forget a difference is the same as doing subtraction so whenever you have a word problem and it asks you what is the difference of this uh, items or this amount as compared to the other one it means that you have to know that you are doing subtraction we'll have our second tax which is tax 2 we are still doing exercise on subtraction find the difference we'll find it at page 30 and then uh, you move to that is on the challenge book session of your textbook okay so that is where you're going to find our second activity and I want you to complete that and then we'll meet in our third video so i'll see you in our third video goodbye hello welcome to the last video on our topic subtraction our subtopic has been find the difference uh, finding the difference means that you have to figure out how many more is needed to make the smaller amount the same as the larger amount so that is the meaning of finding the difference we have an example that illustrates or demonstrates how we can find the difference so finding the difference means that you first have to consider which portions are equal and then the extra ones that the bigger ones are having so in this case the, ex the bigger one was having an extra of two so which means we needed two to add to the smaller number to make uh, same as the larger number the same way uh, our larger number is seven and the smaller number is four so we needed extra three to make it the same as the larger number so this is how you can always do when you are finding difference which is subtraction okay we'll have our homework for today and that is find the difference still on our topic that is on page 30 at the skills builder book good luck i'll see you next week